Welcome back to our Touch Designer tutorial. So in this exercise, we'll try to explore the other parts of the 3D modeling geometries. So by default, we come with this configuration. We have the geometry, camera, light, and then the render window, and eventually go to the output window. So if we take a look of the geometry inside, we have the default torus, the donut shape graphics and in this case we'll try to go around to play with the particle system and the, by means of the particle system which means that we can create a number of very small elements and the combination of the small element can simulate some sort of natural forms like the fox or wind or smoke or even water drops so we start to play around with the simple form first To start with, we have to define a 3D object as a starting form of the particle system. So we choose a sphere. And we choose a sphere not because of we would like to create the particles out of an individual sphere, but we will make use of the surface of the sphere to emit those particles. And then we will try to convert the primitive type from a mesh into a polygon such that we can have smaller number of the point to emit the particles and we can for example change the frequency from 2 to 3 or to other number in order to have more or less number of particles emitted from here and the next step can be very simple. We just go to the particle system with the use of the object called particles and then we just connect the two lines. And if we turn on the animation by clicking on the play button, you can see from the view or from the preview, this is the very simple initial particle system. And once we go back to our project, we can notice uh, very tiny particles right there. So this is the effect of the initial particle system. So we have seen some of the tiny white particles emitted from this center, which is the location of the sphere. And in other parts of the work, we try to enhance it by adding more complexity into this particle system. So if we take a look at the emission right here, you can see it's kind of regular in the sense that everything is emitted from the center of the sphere along its surface in every single direction is possible. So what we're going to do is to manipulate this direction of mm -hmm. emission. So in between the sphere and the particles, we insert another object from the SOP, the surface operator. So we're going to use the sort so what I mentioned, the original one is uh, very regular and even emission of those particles along the surface. Once we try to put in the sort, we can order the order, actually the, the arrangement of this particle emission. So if we take a look at the parameter of the sort and then we select something like the random and it will try to emit the particle randomly along the surface of the sphere. And if we would like to see the effect of this new randomness, we might need to, for example, remove all those particles first and then restart from the very beginning. To do it, usually we go back to the particle system and to check with the state and reset. And if we put a 1 in the reset, they actually remove 
everything. And then if we put it zero again, it will try to emit the particles again. And within the parameter of the particle system, we can also control, like for example, the parameter we use to make changes on this is the burst. So that means for a unit time, how many particles we would like to emit per second. So we can, for example, lower this one in order to, for example, to lower the the CPU loading of your computer. And the next thing is the light expectancy. So that means the duration of that particle will stay in your system. So if you would like to have less of them, you can remove, for example, by changing from 1000 to a smaller number. And of course you can go to reset again in order to see the change. So in this case you see less particle is emitting from the system. And if we go back to have a look of the screen in the output system, so the particle is kind of tiny in a sense that it's quite difficult for you to notice the appearance. So in order to make it a little bit bigger, we can insert one more thing between the sort and the particle system. So that will be a point operator. So within the point operator, we go to the tab with the particles and then we go to the last one. So the scale is actually is deciding how big your particle is. So we'll use the S scale over here and key in a number and this number will be somehow the size of the particles of your system. So let's say we put in the number 15 over here. Once we put in this number, we also need to make change in the particle system right here. So in the initially, the particle is kind of rendered like a tiny dot. This is rendered as lines. And if we would like to change the size by this way in a 2D format, we will render it as a pawn sprite. And then we can go back outside to have a look. So if you remember, in the geometry, we also need to put in the material in order to change the appearance. And if the particle is rendered as pawn sprite in this case, we might have to add another material which is corresponding to the use of the pawn sprite over here. And this is the pawn sprite material. And in order to make use of the pawn sprite material, we select the geometry and then drag this one into the display tab of the material selection over here. And once you drag over here, you can see the particle will increase in size into something like this one. And each of this particle will have the size of 15 pixels as emitted from the center of the sphere. So this is the way we can change to, or to enhance the appearance of the particles. And in the later exercise, we'll try to further enhance the appearance and also the configuration of the particle system such that it will have a more interesting appearance.